That is so cool. Use your muscles. Good work. All right, bud. Good morning, everyone. Right now, it's just about the time where we would be getting shoes on and backpacks zipped up so that I could go to the bus stop with Sebastian. But instead, we are about to head to the airport. Ivana is taking us since he is house sitting. And yeah, I don't like to fly. I get really nervous. Not just it's a combination. I think at least 50% is just being around the people and the germs. But yeah. I also don't like being trapped. And I don't like being up high. I don't have any sort of like panic attacks or anything. I just the digestive system, the heart. But we'll get through. Anyway, time to say goodbye to my cozy room. I just watered Vincent and the plants downstairs. Um there's this little tag because there's a baby and I don't want to block the light since I won't be here to rotate. I might have his on give Vincent some water partway through the week. Anyway, see you at the airport. Seat in the house. Oh my gosh, that is, it's like a video game up there. You got any questions? <laughs> you want, you can move it. That is a big bag. <laughs> Holy cow. Whoa, <laughs> you're steering. You're connected. Yeah. You're connected. So either, way, either of us can fly. You can push. Oh, you push. That, that long? That's the way you control it. That is so cool. Use your muscles. <laughs> Good work. All right, bud. Coffee, Let's let them do their Very checks nice. and stuff. All right. See you Can later. you get out without hitting any switches? You're good.
welcome to California. There's a palm tree. Oh, it's been a day and I will update you on the flight tonight. But we need to figure out dinner. But here's our room. Not quite sure how to turn on that. They love in California to have these open bathrooms so you wake up the whole room. <laughs> But look at that bathtub. I hope they have a big water heater, so I probably won't use it. I don't know. I could get a little ick though by bathtubs and rentals. But yeah, here's our bathroom. Potty room. Closet. I am a hang up the clothes right away person. I just wiped down that and this was really dirty, like crusty. <laughs> we have a little private deck that they mentioned, but there's just like, I don't even know what those are, foot rests. And it just looks into a parking lot for some business. So I don't know. But there's a little third floor area. Sebastian wanted this for his Legos, which he's already started instantly. And we have our rooftop deck, but we're not sure it has lighting. And there's the ocean right there. We're still trying to figure everything out. They seem to be lacking trash cans and blankets. I was hoping I could find an extra blanket. Is it just this, I guess I'm gonna be using these because there's one in the other living room. There's no blankets up here, is there? Sorry, I'm not giving you a very good tour. No, those are just bags for storage. They had comforters in a closet, but I don't really want to drag around a king size comforter. <laughs> anyway, this is kitchen. There's an elevator. We haven't used it. It's like, you get to be a, one of those bank tubes. But, kitchen. I've already been unpacking. I've decided maybe one of these chairs is a good knitting spot because I can see the water. But we'll see. TV looks crooked. Is it crooked? There's a little. Porch. It's kind of windy. I like the little paintings down there. I haven't really looked around. We have a garage down there which we'll need to use because they're going to be doing street sweeping. <sighs> Downstairs, the kids have their rooms, and I guess Danny got them mixed up so Sebastian has the one with the desk and the microwave and Jax has the one without. There's a powder room. Everything in there. Chandelier is nice but dark. Is there more light? It's still dark. I like all their fake succulents. This is the room with the comforters. I was like oh maybe they meant to close that but there's a sticker on it that says do not close. This is an empty closet and another little living room. I think that one's a sofa bed. And that's the main door, but we'll probably be coming in the garage a lot unless we're walking, which we walk a lot. We're, we are further down. I can show you Sebastian's room, but Jack's is in his room. So this one is the one that has like, I don't know why it has a coffee station because there's no coffee maker, but it has a fridge and a microwave. So this was supposed to be Jax's, but the pictures were all different because then he would have a desk, but it's too late. I guess they can sometimes rent these out as separate rooms. So there's like external doors, but he's got a bathroom with a shower. Jax has a bigger bathroom and then probably a bigger room. Yeah, it's definitely a bigger room, so maybe he's happy in there. But that's right here. 
He's got a window for some extra light. I'm assuming this is locked storage. Then there's this random kitchenette, dummy kitchenette. Jax is like, can I have some chai down here? So I need to see if they have more kitchen tea. I think they have an Irish breakfast. Okay. There's teas all over the place. Can I bring my own? I'll have to be nosy later. Anyway, yeah, I haven't taken the elevator. I'm a little nervous about that. I'm gonna be stuck in the tube. But we gotta figure out dinner, so I'll see you later. Pizzas, chef's mushrooms, and then our kale chip. Thing. Um, see, I'm so excited when there's something vegan that's fancy. my friends we have made it to the end of the video and to the end of our day sebastian is downstairs watching star wars because we figured he could just go ahead and stay up till 9 california time which is midnight at home it is currently 7 45 california three hours difference but that's one way to <laughs> move to the new time anyway Let's do a quick recap. We were dropped off by Yvonne. Well, Danny drove my car to the airport. Accidentally ended up in the arrivals pickup zone. Oops. But all we had to do was bring the bags up an escalator and then we were fine. Reasonably fast dropping the bags and getting through security. We do have pre-check we came in years ago before the pandemic and got fingerprinted and interviewed so that we could do pre-check and then not too bad of a wait to get on the plane we gave the flight crew the bag of treats that was candy snacks some bunny ears because it's easter week <laughs> i was like why not maybe they want bunny ears and the wonderful card that Sebastian made. I made sure to add to his card that he was the artist and his name is Sebastian and he was seven years old. Because I know when you get kids art, you, you wanna know the kid's name and you wanna know how old they are. It's just, I don't know, I do. So we handed that off and right away, 
the purser, the head flight attendant who has all the extra paperwork. I only know this because I randomly watch flight attendant vlogs. I don't know, I have for years. I don't know why they popped up and I was just like, oh, cool. So yeah, the purser poked his head into the cockpit, that's the word, and asked if Sebastian could check it out. So one of the pilots stepped out and held the bag I was holding so I could step closer and film. They were so nice letting him steer and stuff. So yeah, that made his day. And then flight was fine, but everybody was coming over, all the flight crew and thanking us. And when they came with a snack cart, I was gonna buy like this $10 ridiculously overpriced tapas box but they were like practically they were like trying to throw candy and shit into my hands i'm like wait this is too much sugar but actually i do kind of want this chocolate <laughs> so we got oh my god they hooked us up we got the ten dollar tapas box danny and jacks both got five dollar can mini cans of pringles the prices are so inflated sebastian got a bag of chocolates I got a little, like little fancy M&Ms. I got a bag of those later. Is that it? Did Sebastian get something else? I think that was it. <clears throat> so generous. And plus they were giving us like as many of the normal snacks as we wanted, but they were doing that for everybody. Very, very kind. Oh, they have another blanket on you. Thank you. I'm still gonna put one on my feet. <clears throat> anyway, they were so nice. Everybody was, chatting with us and I loved them. They, they just made the flight really nice. At one point the purser came back, looked all official in his fancy jacket, so sweetly dropped off two cards as you saw. There was one for everybody but Sebastian and then there was one special for Sebastian about his artwork of the plane that he had been so worried about. He was like, I can't draw a plane. But then he ended up doing it all on his own. And yeah, they gave him special wings, like the big wings. There's another smaller wing that was clipped to our card. And I was like, hey, Jax, you want this? And they were like, yeah, and shoved it in the pocket. So I barely saw that one. But the kids can have the, the wings. So yeah, it was so sweet. Oh. But yeah, long flight, uneventful. I'm very dehydrated. I had tea the whole time. At one point it spilled on my chair and I got a wet butt. And then like 10 minutes later, Danny bumped Sebastian's drink and that went on his lap. So he had a wet butt. So we were the wet butt club. Yeah, not a club you want to be in, but it dried. <laughs> but yeah, landed, made it here. It was noonish, but when we were waiting on the plane for them to open the doors, we got the bad news that our rental car was late. We are going through, I don't know what it is, Truvia or something, something along that. I might be mixing words, but something with a T. <clears throat> it's like a rental, car rental system where people can rent their own cars out as rentals, but also like, independent people can have a little mini fleet and that's what Danny likes to choose from. <clears throat> he had an Audi set up and they were supposed to park it at the airport for us to pick up and we pay the parking and go on our way. It worked out really great last year. But apparently the people who had it the day before overslept and were in Big Bear, California, like a couple hours away and so he didn't have the car and they were like scrambling back and he's still gonna have to wash it, but he was willing to take it to the airport or to our Airbnb or whatever we needed. He was so sorry. I was like, oh fuck, we have all these suitcases. So we're like, what, what can we do? We can wait at the airport for two hours. We could try to get a shuttle to the train station and take the train to Oceanside. <clears throat> and then hope that we can put our bags in the house, otherwise we're dragging them. Or we could take an Uber and getting an Uber that's big enough for the 30 to 40 minute drive is over a hundred dollars. <laughs> but 
first thing we had to just check all our options we checked the train the shuttle was going to be like an hour from now and then you still had like an hour and a half train or something i don't know because of all the stops something like that so that would have been just like so long <laughs> and expensive because you're paying for the train so we contacted the rental for their airbnb and they said we could check in at one and it was 12 30 at the time and we were doing all this so we went with the uber i'm hoping that the rental guy gives danny a discount that it's at least that it's at least covering half of that 112 dollar uber that would be nice and then it wouldn't be <laughs> So painful, but we just, it was such a long day. We just really needed to get here and drop our bags and we needed to eat a meal. Our plan all along had been to pick up the car and go have a nice brunch at our favorite place and then come to the house and drop our stuff and settle in. So yeah, that was a mess and it was a little expensive, but it worked out in the end. If the house hadn't have been ready, it would have been a lot more difficult. We would have, had to figure something out because we just had too much, too many suitcases and stuff. So <clears throat> that was our flight experience. You've seen the house. We walked to have pizza. Well, I had soup, a beautiful vegan soup with artisan home-baked bread. And it was delicious and expensive. <laughs> and then we walked back. Danny got some beers at a bottle shop dropped off Jack's, bundled up for the wind, and I walked Sans Jack's around with the rest of the family, checked out the beach, it was so windy, and I got a matcha, which was $7, it'll be my only matcha, but California's the one place I can get matcha that's not like sugar bomb. It actually tastes like grass and mulch and green tea. <laughs> Goodness, oh, this is getting long. And I have to upload this. Oh, the upload speed is atrocious when I did a speed test, so I think I'm gonna have to use my cellular the whole time. So if these videos are not uploaded or they don't have their little end links at the end, it's because I just let it go when I was sleeping because it's gonna be ridiculous. It's just the way it is. They give you these great download speeds because everybody wants to stream movies and shit, and I don't care about that. I need some upload. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. I was talking about my matcha. I, I don't know how I got on to videos. I'm my, my brain. My brain, it's done. It's done. She done. So I got the matcha because I was absolutely freezing. It was wonderful. And then that helped me warm up. We decided that. They were gonna do a movie night and we were gonna bring some snacky foods because we ate really early dinner. It was like probably barely four when we ate, but we just couldn't wait. So we're like, this is awkward, but this is what we're gonna have to do. So we stopped and got chips and guac and salsa and they got like some sort of a carnitas bowl. I got some little sides of beans and rice but i'm still full from the soup it was surprisingly filling so yeah that was our day i decided to start uploading or editing so that i can upload this so i'm gonna pop this little clip into my video and export it and start the painful uploads but i will see tomorrow we're, we're not sure quite yet what we're doing we might go to flower fields we always drive past them and we've never really had the timing right. So we might finally do that. We're definitely gonna go to our favorite ocean size breakfast spot beach break. So we'll see you then. Hi from Spoon. She's looking grumpy in her old age of one year because she was submerged in two. The suitcase. I'm so sorry, Spoon, but you got to come, right? Some spoon love for you. If you could only feel how nice she hugs, I'm telling you. It will heal your soul. I don't have my real puppy to hug right now and he gets the best hugs. He lowers your blood pressure. So, spoon will do. But, good night everyone, stay safe.
Be kind and don't forget, wash your hands.